So please put your hands together and please welcome Father Stephen Alvara here with us. A big round of applause. God's blessing for me this moment to be with the country. Why I am here is for three things. One is to express our gratitude to all Jesus Youth members, all Jesus Youth leaders, whether you are a priest member in this moment, whether you are a a religious consecrated person in this member or a lay member. They secondly to ask your prayers and collaborations for the church's various mission in India. And thirdly, to network with them, Jesus Youth Ministry. See everywhere the God's touch in the communion process, communion process, and we are searching for uh, in order to make it uh, a separate uh, entity in, uh, in the CCDA conference, the Catholic Bishops of India. Uh, Latin Bishops are around 90, and we have 16 commissions and 10 departments, like we know, 10 departments, or together 26. Majority are priests. Uh, the religious sisters uh, are the secretaries working for uh, the conference of Catholic Christians of India. A person to carry over the communion mission normally we request to send the letters to the bishops and 674 provincials. Uh, provincials, then we get the some names and the office where is scrutinized and the office where is put the names uh, into the executive committee body where the all archbishops and our commission chairmen. They discuss sometimes they move and they like. And when we were thinking about uh, this communion who can be appointed, then God guided us. Holy Spirit guided us. I believe in that, not me. And we finally wanted to appoint uh, Father Das. Father Das, the Jesus Christ priest. Then um, I contacted the Jesus with uh, of their officials, their official letter. They were very so they were happy and gave the consent. And they contacted where he was incarnate, and Kurat Bishop Archbishop Galias, he was so happy. And again, I contacted James Tobel of uh, Bishop James Tobel of Kukima, where he was uh, currently working as a missionary priest. He was also happy. When his name was discussed in, the, in our executive legacy meeting, some bishops were high appreciation about him, especially Archbishop Prakash Malavarapu of Vishakapatna uh, was appreciating the movement, Jesus movement. And the Jesus Youth Movement raised Father Das and also his, uh, he came from a professional background. He was a manager of a company and uh, wanted to join the Jesus Youth Movement. And there he got, from the movement, he got the vocation and he wanted to become a priest. Then he got a philosophy, different experiences, uh, uh, studied canon law and uh, the communication and different experiences. Finally, the CCD appointed him associate director for a communio. And I <laughs> we are grateful not only to the for uh, Father Das, for the moment, it's your moment, gave an occasion to a employee. Your moment gave an occasion to a company manager who turned to become a priest. <laughs> this is for the moment gave an inspiration and a spirituality to him. Such an India is so grateful. And uh, July 1st week onwards, uh, he will be in the CCPI family and he will be taking charge as uh, associate director for your communion. And we are grateful to you. Please network with uh, the CCPI uh, or all ecclesiastical bodies and also with the regional commissions and uh, diocesan commissions and also with the national level, national government, we connect with the now tomorrow you are going to have an uh, election. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. So the Father Das to the National Church, especially for the Comunio. And uh, I congratulate and, and appreciate that uh, Father Das also. I would like to give the official appointment in this uh, state. Official appointment.